All right, we'll get started. We'd like to welcome uh, Shane Lowry into the interview room here at the Wyndham Championship. Shane, as we just discussed, this is your sixth start here at the Wyndham Championship. You've got uh, one top ten, so if we could just get an opening comment on being back here at uh, Sedgefield Country Club. Yeah, it's... Um I mean, I've only won top ten here, but I feel like I like the course and I like coming here to play. Um, I've, as I've, you know, moved to America and spent a lot of time over here, I've become used to Bermuda and I quite like it now. So um, it's a course that I feel like I can play well around. It's uh, you, know, you can't overpower this golf course. You need to play golf. You need to shape shots, and um, yeah, it's a place that I feel like I could do well um, around. So that's why I'm here. Um, coming into the week number 76 in the mm -hmm. FedEx Cup standings, you've qualified for the playoffs in each of the last four seasons. Uh, what's the mentality coming into the week as far as making a push um, to get into that top 70 before next week? Yeah, look, I, obviously I'm here because I want to make it into next week. I think, um, you know, it's easy to sit here and go, uh, oh, I just want to play well. I want to go out and try and win the tournament. No, at the end of the day, I want to make it into next week. I want to make it into the playoffs and I want to make a run in the playoffs. You know, at this stage, I'm sitting here and I still feel like I can make the Tour Championship. So um, that's a exciting place to be. I, I think, um, obviously, I'd prefer if I was in a better spot coming in here, but I'm not. It is what it is now. And, um, you know, I'm going to need a good week this week. And then, you know, Memphis is a course that I like playing and that I've played all right around in the past. So uh, if I can get there, I know I can make a run there. So, um, yeah, I, I certainly don't want to be sitting at home on my couch watching... Um, the playoffs, so um, it's a lot of motivation for me this week to to play good golf and hopefully um, get my rewards at the end of it. All right, we'll take some questions out here. We'll start with Ron. As you said, you'd like to be higher in the race, but how would you describe your season this year? Do you feel like it's better than maybe you're standing on the points? I, I think so. I think um, there's been a lot of good, not much great, um, which on the PGA Tour doesn't cut it. Um, you know, I think I've had a lot of say, if you look at probably a lot of top 20 finishes. Um, but you need those great weeks. You need those top fives um, to move up to FedEx Cup points list. You know, you finish, you come off a week finishing 15th to 20th and you feel like you've played well, but you don't really get many FedEx Cup points for you. You don't get um, what you feel like you might deserve from your play. So, um, yeah, it's been an interesting year for me. I've played, you know, the way the schedule is with the elevated events. Um or designated events, is that what we call them? Yeah, events. designated events. Um, I feel like I've played some places that I wouldn't normally play, um, and I've had to miss tournaments that I normally like to play. So uh, it's been an interesting year for me. Um, but like I said, I'm here now, and I want to play well, and I want to get into next week, and I want to make a run in the playoffs. Does it feel like the playoffs have already started for you? Yeah, I've seen some people talking about that uh, yester uh, yesterday. That's kind of a good way to put it. Um, you know, it's obviously top 70 this year, not 125. So if you look at the 125, we're here and we're trying to make it into next week. So, uh, yeah, you could call it as like the first playoff event. But, um, yeah, you just need to, like I said, you need to play well and uh, make a move into next week. Other questions? Jeff? Do you do you think you play better when you know you're in a situation like this? Um, I don't know. I, I'd much prefer not to be. Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny, right? I feel like I've been in this situation, not this situation, but I've been in situations like this quite a bit over the last number of years. Like I I missed out on the Tour Championship by one spot last year, by two spots in 2019. Um, you know, I remember playing here one year. I've been told I needed the top 10 to get into the playoffs. I finished seventh. And I missed out by one point. Um, so I feel like the playoffs nearly owes me one at this stage. So hopefully I can, you know, that's what I'm trying to tell myself this year. Um, look, I I feel like I've been playing some pretty good golf most of the year. Um, I'm coming off the back of a pretty bad week at the Open, which I was very disappointed with. Um, but I had a nice holiday with my family last week. I kind of regroup and hopefully uh, get going again this week. And oh, sorry, one ahead, more sorry follow-up. Knowing that you are in the situation, what do you have to do to make sure that you stay in the right mode, that you stay playing your game and don't get too focused on what's going on? Yeah, like it's, it's hard at times. Um, you know, I'm a leaderboard watcher. I, I like to know what's going on, um, although I don't know where I need to finish this week. I know I need a pretty good week. Um, but at the end of the day, you're out there and first things first, you're trying to win the tournament this week. Um, you know, you're trying to play decent golf the first couple of days, get yourself in position on Saturday and then put yourself in a good position going into Sunday and that's that's how it is. Um, 
so yeah, you just try and look after the the usual things, one shot at a time, and and try and you know take care of that and make as many birdies as you can out there. And and um, you know, I know if I play my own game, that everything will take care of everything else. Will take care of itself. John, you mentioned birdies. I think uh, Tom Kim had twenty five or twenty six birdies yes, uh, last year. When it's when you have to make so many birdies, do you like that kind of style when you come into a course like this? Yeah, I think this is a this is a funny venue where you know. Sometimes it can play quite difficult. If, if you're not hitting fairways out here, it's a difficult golf course. But if you hit fairways, there's a lot of chances. Um, you know, there's probably four or five holes that are really strong um, that you take pars on, and then the rest of them you kind of, you know, you try and go after. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of birdies to be had out there, but you also need to be diligent with what you're doing. You need to, you know, like I said earlier, you can't just overpower it. You can't just go out and, um, you know, some courses we play on tour, it's almost an automatic you're going to make four birdies a day. But... Even though people will do it out here, it's not it's not automatic and it's not given. It's just uh, you need to play good golf to do it. Other questions? All right, Shane, thank you very much thank for you. your time.